All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT. We are live from Columbus, Ohio, and to start off the show, we got the NXT and North American champion Maxwell Verdi going to start things off for us as he's about to address the his match against whoever is willing to accept the challenge. But then and but then he's got a special stipulation that he wants to add to that match. So whoever's going to accept the challenge is also going to be hearing about the stipulation to see what Maxwell Verde has in mind as both the NXT and North American Championships are on the line at NXT TakeOver Incarceration. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a curious thing to hear what Maxwell Verde has to say considering the match. And who's gonna be accepting that challenge? I have no idea who who it'll be. But one thing's for sure, there's going to be a special stipulation, and Maxwell Verdi's going to see what is going, what is in store. There he is, the NXT champion and North American champion, on his way to the ring to address the match and to issue the special stipulation that he has. We're going to see what it's going to be. So let's see what he has to say now. Everybody be quiet. Oh ho ho, look who it is. This man is accepting the challenge against Maxwell Verdi for both for both titles. It is Black Heron. And the look on uh, Maxwell Verdi's face, he doesn't look impressed. Black Heron just accepting this challenge. Well, Maxwell Verdi did say whoever is wanting to accept the challenge to come out here and face them. And he's about to address the special stipulation that Maxwell Verdi has. So Black Heron is ready and willing to take those titles at NXT TakeOver Incarceration. But will he be able to do it? We're going to see what Black Heron has to address here today.
looks like, oh, I was about to say, looks like Bla Black Heron's had enough of Maxwell Verdi's antics. And here they go. And the stipulation has been made. It is a loser leaves the company match, which means whoever wins those titles is the new is the champion and whoever loses gets fired. So if Black Heron wins this match, then that means Maxwell Verdi gets fired and Black Heron becomes the new NXT and North American champion. But if Maxwell Verdi wins this match, he keeps those titles and Black Heron gets released, gets fired. So now we've got this match has been is made official. It is Max Wolverde defending the NXT and North American Championship against Black Heron at NXT Takeover Incarceration. Loser leaves the company. And up next, we got Two Twist and Merc taking on MJF one on one here tonight. And MJF, being Mr. Money in the Bank, could be also a problem for both Max Wolverine and Black Heron. Whoever wins that, whoever wins the NXT belt, Max Wolver whether it's Max Wolverine or Two or uh, Black Heron, MJF's gonna probably gonna run out there and cash in. Becoming the new NXT champion. That's one little problem that these that those two are also going to have to probably encounter at NXT Takeover Incarceration. But that's the story for another day. But right now we've got Two Twisted Merc taking on MJF one on one here on NXT as we are live from Columbus, Ohio. There's Two Twisted Merc on his way to the ring, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maxwell. No, not Max. Yeah, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. MJF just attacking Two Twisted Merc from behind. Just on the attack. Just running away from Two Twisted Merc. He's on his way to the ring. And here we go, this match is underway. Two Twisted Merc, MJF one on one here. Merc Karana by, by Two Twisted Merc to MJF. Down he goes. Suplex. Two twisted Merc on the attack of MJF here. On a headlock. MJF breaks free of that headlock that Two Twisted Merc has applied on him. MJF winning his second Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, technically last year he didn't win as much. He didn't win last year, but Adam Cole did win that match. But MJF challenged him to defend the Money in the Bank briefcase, which Adam Cole actually did accept the challenge. But then MJF beat Adam Cole to, to win the Money in the Bank briefcase, only to cash it in on the form of former NXT champion. I forgot who it was though. But now, MJF going for his third NXT championship once he catches in that briefcase. MJF being thrown 
and onto the floor. Bean getting that arm damaged. Kitchen sink by MJF to Tinkers and Mark, just taking him down. Now later on, it, it, it is the NXT and North American champion, Maxwell Verde, taking on Johnny Gargano in a one-on-one -on -one bout. Then, but before that, we've got two number one contenders matches. It is once for the NXT Tag Team Championships and once for the NXT Women's Championship. But after this match, Thunder Rosa is making her NXT debut and taking on Maria Kanellis. And then another debut, which is El Toro Blanco Rush, making his debut tonight here as well against Maria. I mean, Mike Kanellis, excuse me. I was just, well, yes, they are married. Maria and Mike Kanellis. That makes sense. Side. Here's the cover and the kick out. Kick to the midsection to MJF, and now Merck's going through another cover. Another kick out. Oh, got him in that painful submission move. MJF's probably going to tap. Oh, but I just spoke too soon. Trying to go for that kitchen sink again. There, there it is. Punch after punch after punch to Merck in the corner. Just stomping away at, at Merck. Merck, he's going for it. There he goes. And Merck wasting no time applying those punches onto MJF. Well, that's what MJF gets for attacking him from behind just before the match even started. Trying to go for the drop kick. Up on his shoulders and a gut buster. Merck off the cover and a kick out. MJF once again go for the reversal and just. Launching Merck into the corner. Merck just pushing him away. Another clothesline. Clothesline into the corner again. Spinning elbow. Oh, and taking out the ref in the process. That's not cool. That was not cool at all. Oh! And now Tombstone. Tombstone pile driver. Oh, and there it is. But Merck doesn't realize that the referee's out. Can't count the pin if he's out. Can't count the pin. Merck, you guess you got to break it. Not. Oh, and there's the kick out. Merck setting him up. And a sling blade. And that's it. Merck with the win, and he's all busted open as well.
Crimson Mass showing. Just picking up the victory against MJF. Revenge is sweet, isn't it? MJF got got what he deserved. Got his ass kicked. Well, that's what M well that's what MJF gets for uh, attacking Merc before the match even uh, even started. So, and let's not forget he attacked that ref, which is not cool. But he doesn't care. The 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 backstage personnel here probably in NXT here are probably just gonna give him a, 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 a tap on the shoulder and say, forget about it. So yeah, Merck got what he deserved, got what he wanted, and that was revenge tonight against against MJF for attacking him from before the match even started. And up next, we've got Thunder Rosa taking on Maria Canellis in this one-on-one -on -one bout. We haven't seen Maria or Mike Canellis in a while, but they have made their return. And they are going to be facing uh, their respected opponents. Thunder Rosa taking on Maria Canellis. Mike Canellis taking on El Toro Blanco Rouge tonight, who is also making his debut tonight. These matches are probably going to end very quickly. That's all I got to say. And Thunder Rosa making her debut, but watch out, watch out. Oh, and Ma Maria Canel is just on the attack of Thunder Rosa. And on her debut match, nonetheless. Thunder Rosa just quickly getting to the ring to, come to start this match. She's just waiting for Maria Canel to enter the ring as well to commence this match quickly. Getting out of the way. There we go. Hit scissors. Rick no, it's just go just Really punished in this in this match against um, Thunder Rosa. There we go, Thunder Rosa drop toe hold on to Mary Canellis. Mary Canellis is trying to get back up. Now he's going for his close Irish whip. Reversal. Into the ropes. Drop kick from behind. And now Thunder Rosa gonna throw Mary Canales into the corner. Over the middle rope, DDT. Thunder Rosa looks like she's ready to put this match to rest. She's going for the full Nelson. There it is. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Almost had it. Now Thunder Rosa putting Maria Canales back on her feet. She's ready to put it away now. There it is. There's the cover. And that's it. Thunder Rosa with the victory against Maria Canellis in this very quick match.
Let's look at the replays. Look at that. Not a not much action, but Thunder Rosa probably Here's satisfied with that outcome. And Thunder Rosa just looking on. Hey, 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 Sochi Lopez. What is she doing out here? The Hurricanrana onto the debuting Thunder Rosa. But to be fair, she did she did interrupt Sochi Lopez's match the other the other top the other the other day on the other episode of NXT. DDT. She's got her on her shoulders. So she looks like what she gonna do? What she gonna do? The ropes. Drop kick. Just sending a message to the debuting Thunder Rosa. Just sending a message to the debuting Thunder Rosa. Man. What a way to what a way to ruin a debut for someone. She's attacking them from behind after their match. Well now it is official. Um I have received word from the GM of NXT. And he says that it will be Sochi Lopez taking on Thunder Rosa in a Mexican death match. This is probably the second Mexican death match to ever happen in an NXT TakeOver Incarceration match event. So yeah, Thunder Rosa versus Sochi Lopez in a Mexican death match. But right now, we got a Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Tornado Tag Elimination Match. Tongue twister right there. As these four teams are going to battle it out to see who becomes the number one contenders for um, Trent and Chuck Taylor's NXT Tag Team Championships. It is Fandango and Tyler Breeze of Breezango. Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metalik of... Lucha House Party, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy of Jurassic Express, and Ethan Page and the NXT Television Champion Scorpio Sky Men of the Year. As these four teams are going to battle it out, we're going to see who walks out the winners and will face Trent and Chuck Taylor at NXT TakeOver Incarceration for those NXT Tag Team titles. We're just waiting to see who the first team is going to come out and I wonder who it is. And it is Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy Jurassic Express. The first team to be a part of this Fatal 4-Way Tornado Tag Elimination Match. These two are former NXT Tag Team Champions and they're looking to looking to take back the gold against Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta if they can be able if they can able to, yeah, if they can try to Making win the, to this the match against three other tag teams. It's not an easy task, Luke but Shaw Snow to the, but you know the and saying, John to the victor goes the spoils. Boy, the and like I, yeah, like I, like I said before, it's not an easy task. Once you or your teammate or both get eliminated, you're out. You're eliminated.
Here comes the second tag team. It is Fandango and Tyler Breeze of Breezango, or as I like to call them, the Fashion Police. And at a combined weight of 456 pounds, Fandango and Tyler Breeze. Breezango. These two are were also former tag team champions, looking to, also looking to, to to go after the titles again. But they got to go through three other tag teams. I would say the same for all, all all those other tag teams are also part of this matchup. And whoever wins this match gets a number one contender spot shot. I mean, for the NXT tag team titles against Trent and Ch Trent and Chuck Taylor. Trent and Chuck Taylor, well, Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor are not here tonight. I have no idea where they are. They're probably at a hotel. They're probably watching on AEW. They're probably watching via AEW Dynamite. I don't know. I have no clue. They should. They're probably somewhere. Orange Cassidy's not here either. So, and he's the NXT North American. Ch not North American. I mean cruiserweight champion. Excuse me. I always mess I always mess things up. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky on their way to the ring. Men of the year looking to score their first number one contender spot and probably go after and win their first NXT Tag Team Championships. Now Ethan Page, an avid toy collector. Check out his YouTube channel. It's, it's so much fun to watch. And if Ethan Page is watching, I just plugged your channel. You're welcome, my dude. I just tell him to go watch your channel, subscribe to it. And yeah, his t toy hunts are very fun to watch. And Scorpio Sky, this, the current NXT at a combined weight television champion, alongside pounds. Ethan Page. They're ready to. They're ready to rumble. But here comes the final tag team of this fatal four-way tag team elimination match. Lindsay Dorado and Grand Elite. Two very talented high-flying luchadors. A bit of Lucha Libre will spice this match up and make it a lot fun, a lot more fun with, and with those high-flying abilities, high-flying action. It's no wonder why Lucha Libre is a very, very entertaining sport to watch. Or I just spoke too soon as um, Lucha Dorado just got, got attacked by Luchasaurus. This match is underway. Maybe not. Here we go. Let's say Dorado still being attacked by Luchasaurus. The Luchasaur is being sent into the corner. Oh, leg drop from the middle rope. Fondango going after Ethan Page. Jungle Boy going after Scorpio Sky. Lindsay Dorado going after Luchasaurus. And Graham and Lee going after Tyler Breeze. One of these four teams is going to walk out number one contender. And we will face Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta for those NXT Tag Team titles. Now, Luchasaurus got his eyes set on Fandango now. Oh, here we go. Hammerlock DDT going for that cover. 
Valencia Dorado just trying to break up that pin, even though Fandango's not even his tag team partner. Fandango in the corner with Lucha Starks. You're going to throw him into that turnbuckle post. Gonna go for that jumping elbow. He just hit Scorpio Sky, but that didn't do anything, but just takes out Fandango. And you saw that Grandma Lee just applied a poison rana to the, to the dinosaur of Jurassic Express. It looks like he's the page going for cover. Oh, and it's on Lince Dorado. Tyler Breeze applying the headlock onto Luchasaurus. Jungle Boy now going after Lindsay Dorado. Everybody's going after everybody in this match. You just gotta try to apply as much damage, try to take out your opponent. But Tyler Breeze with that super kick. Yeah, he's a pace go for that super kick as well. Oh, and here we go, Fandango. Going after Jungle Boy, while well, Lucha Sword is going after Tyler Breeze. Here we go. Choke slam. Jungle, Jungle Boy, excuse me. Something's sick in my throat, I don't know, but it's making Jungle Boy cough. I don't, know the, I don't know what the hell's going on. I may be falling. I may be. I may be ill. I don't know. I have no clue. But well, there we go. 1916 by Scorpio Sky. Go off for the cover. And Tyler Breeze has been eliminated. I think I know why. Because I've been eating, because I've been eating flaming hot Cheetos. That's probably why. Note to self: never eat flaming hot Cheetos while doing a live stream. It's gonna make you off. because it's too spicy. And now back to Plex to Ethan Page from Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus, her Karana on the Scorpio Sky. Tyler Breeze just got eliminated. You can see the Rado going for the Spanish fly on the Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy being saved by his tag team partner. Now Lindsay Dorado going to the top. Lindsay Dorado is going for it. Luchasaurus is in trouble, but gets out of the way, and everybody, everybody's getting out of the way, getting out of the way. Drop kick to reversals after reversals, rope break. Jungle Boy trying to pin Grand Metal League. Ethan Page just throws Lindsay Dorado into the corner. Dorado in trouble. Ethan Page. Jungle Boy has been eliminated. And Luchasaurus is mad. Luchasaurus is mad. And Fondango being taken out by Luchasaurus. And there you go. Luchasaurus going for the choke slam. On to Grand Metal League and Fandango just wasting no time to attack Fandango to Fandango wasting no time just trying to attack uh, Luchasaurus. Grand Metal League just eliminated uh, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus is really mad. He is upset. Oh, drag onto the dinosaur. I just leave Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page, Fandango, Luchasaurus, and Lucha House Party members, Grand Metal League and Lince Dorado. And here's the Metal League driver. And here's the cover. Quick ref, count it. 
And a kick out by Luchasaurus. Still surviving. Trying not to get eliminated. But it looks like Grand Metalik and Fandango are gonna team up on, on Luchasaurus being the bigger guy in this matchup. He's got him in a submission, but Fandango's gonna break that up. They're double teaming on Luchasaurus. Now Luchasaurus been thrown outside of the room. Fandango just got taken out by Scorpio Sky. Ethan Page going after Lindsay Dorado. <laughs> Lindsay Dorado is in trouble. Ethan Page has got him. Well, Grand Metal League. Oh, never mind. Oh, and Luchasaurus. Oh, no. Oh! Just throwing Grand Metalik into the barricade. Powerful man this guy is. Powerful, power, powerful, powerful, powerful man. Where the fuck did I just come up with the word powerful? Reversal by Grand Metalik onto Luchasaurus. R throwing him out of the ring. Luchasaurus is avenging his partner, uh, Jungle Boy, be after being eliminated. Eric Carano once again onto Luchasaurus. Oh wait, no, that, that wasn't a TKO, I, my mistake. 1916 to Fandango, and Fandango has now been eliminated. Eric Piranha on to Luchasaurus. Scorpio going after Lindsay Dorado, both teams are still in this. Drop kick. Oh shit. Oh no. Luchasaurus better fight that. He better fight that. And he's going to. Look at that. Reversal once again. Going for the Swanton. Oh, and the boot. I'll let you start going for the cover on Ethan Page. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Grand Metalik in trouble. Kick to the face. And here's the cover. Oh, oh, almost, almost. Oh, Hurricanrana, Hurricanrana onto Luchasaurus. Scorpio Sky going after it. He's delivering those punches while Grand Malik just watches on. Luchasaurus is being attacked by both Scorpio and and Grand Metalik. Well, Ethan Page going for the Ego's Edge. Ego's Edge applied. And he goes for the cover. Oh, and the and the kick out. I 
And once again, go for the Eagles edge again. The ref is out. The ref is out. Luchasaurus accidentally get in the wet, accidentally taking out the ref. Scorpio and Grandma Elite just want to go after uh, Luchasaurus. Oh, I'm just taking them out with that clothesline from behind. Well, the next snap. And Scorpio setting him up. Wonder what he's got in store for him. Here we go, 1916. 1916 applied. Here's the cover. And a kick out again by Luchasaurus. Her Karana, the Grand Metal League from the top row. And Grand Metal League accidentally taking out um, Scorpio Sky. And now he's got his eyes set on Scorpio Sky now. And Scorpio Sky eliminated by, by uh, Grand Metal League. Reversal by Ethan Page is interrupting the the the, the, the choke slam. Not cool, man. Now that's what he gets. Ethan Page going for a ride. Choke slam. Ethan Page receiving the choke slam. Looks just going for cover. And that's it. And now it's just two on one, two on one handicap. Neck breaker. Moonsault from the middle rope onto Luchasaurus. Here we go into the corner now. Reversal by Luchasaurus. Now both Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metal League are going after Luchasaurus. Now her Karana. Oh shit. Into the corner he goes again. Once again, Luchasaurus with those reversals. He really wants him and Jungle Boy to go after those tag team titles. Here we go, suplex. And Grand Metal League going for a ride. Here's the cover. And Grand Metal League has been eliminated. So now it's just Lindsay Dorado and Luchasaurus. Here we go, Hammerlock DDT. That could be it. And a kick out, almost had it. And to the ropes goes Luchasaurus and Lince Dorado. Oh, no, reversal. Another hammer lock. Well, that could be the end. That could be the ticket to the number of contenders spot. Or maybe not. Now 
Lindsay Dorado going for that arm drag from the top. No, wait, DDT. And there it is, a DDT. And now Lindsay Dorado going to the top rope. Looking to put him away. And there it is. Oh, and now Luchasaurus. Choke slam to Lince Dorado. That could be the end of this matchup. Number of contenders. Here we come. And Luchasaurus has done it. He and Jungle Boy are going to go after these NXT Tag Team titles against Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor at NXT TakeOver Incarceration. What a match that was, to be honest with you. Congratulations on Jungle Boy. Well, mostly Luchasaurus. Here are he, your winners, Luke He did most of the work for him and, and Jungle Boy, but they did win a number of contenders shot for the NXT the Tag Team titles. So, congratulations to both Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. And up next, we've got El Toro Blanco Roos making his NXT debut against Mike Kanellis. Now, now in Mike Kanellis, this match is going to end very quickly. Roos signing with NXT and making this his official debut. He's going to, he's going to. He's going. Well, I wouldn't say. Well, I, w I was gonna say something, but I was saying. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a new environment for Roosh. The wrestling's the same, but but who knows? Along the way, he'll learn some new. He'll he'll learn the. He'll learn some new moves along the way. Making his way to the ring. Yeah. From Mexico, weighing in at 226 pounds, Rust. This is Roosh's official debut to NXT as he's set as he's scheduled to face Mike Canales one on one here tonight. A future NXT champion. And a new environment for him, but It, will, it looks like it's not going to be a problem, though. And his opponent, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 205 pounds, Mike Canellis. We haven't seen Mike or Maria Canales in a while, but they have made their return. Uh, Maria lost her match against the debut in Thunder Rosa. I probably wouldn't say the same for Mike Canales, knowing that he probably he'll probably lose his match as well because I have I I have no clue. Considering that this is Rush's debut, and he'll pro and he'll probably pick the win pick the win up over Mike Canales. I probably was I could probably consider that one factor. Yep. And here we go. 
There we go. This match is underway, and Roosh with the with the spear. Mike Canales with that reversal. Roosh with that reversal again. The le single leg takedown. Neck breaker. And Roosh just stomping away. Spear. Spear to Mike Canellis. Oh, trying to go for the super kick. Neck breaker to Toro Blanco. Just going for another suplex. Going to the corner now. Devastating clothesline just taking out Mike Canales. And Roosh going for another spear, but that didn't that didn't connect as well as he thought as he thought. But Mike Canel is just showing off as he just throws Roosh out of the ring. And here we go. And a super kick. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Setting him up. He's going for a pile driver. Let's look at that pile driver De again. Devastating impact on the head of Mike Canales as Roosh going for cover. And there it is. Roosh with the win against Mike Canales. That was a very quick match, I would say, but. Roosh picking up his first victory here on here on NXT. Here is your winner, Russ. And now Roosh. He's got his eyes set again on Mike Canellis. Oh, just stomping away. On the late on the knee drop or the knee smash. And there's a super kick. Super kick to Mike Canellis, and I think he just busted him open as well. It looks like Roosh was very satisfied with that win. And up next, we got a over-the-top rope. Yeah, an eight women over-the-top rope battle royal to determine the number one contender for the women's for the NXT Women's Championship, currently held by Lazara. One of these eight one of these eight women is going to win this match. Now, for those of you who don't know how this works. All these eight women are going to be inside the match. The only way to the only way to the only way to get eliminated is by being thrown over the top rope, with both feet touching the floor. The last remaining superstar in the ring will be declared the winner and the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. So we've got Annie Kawaii, Bianca Belair, Candice LeRae, Sonya Deville, Thochi Lopez, Morgana Rivera, Mandy Rose, and Dakota Kai. All battling it out to see who walks away number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. But whoever is going to be thrown over the top rope is going to get eliminated. But only one superstar is going to be in. Is going to be the winner of this matchup.
making his way to the ring from Beverly Hills, California, Ann E. Car Y. Annie Kawai, a former NXT Women's Champion, looking to win back that title if she can win this women's over the top rope battle royal to win that number one contenders match and earn an NXT Women's Championship match against Lazara at NXT TakeOver Incarceration. Now I know for a fact that Annie Kawaii and Sochi Lopez are two former NXT Women's Champions. Now you got Bianca Belair, Candice LeRae, Sonya Deville, Morgana Rivera, Mandy Rose, and Dakota Kai. All of those superstars may get a chance at winning their first number one contenders shot and going after the NXT Women's Championship. Now, I had my mic muted and I was talking and I didn't hear myself. And I'm like, why am I not talking until I realized, ah, oh, you stupid dumbass, you had your mic muted. I was, and I was talking about Bianca Belair until I realized, ah, oh, mic muted. So like, I'm gonna say it again. Bianca Belair looking to win her first number one contender shot for the NXT Women's Championship. It looks like she could probably do that tonight. And here comes Candice LeRae, a.k.a. Jo Johnny Wrestling. Uh, wait, no. Candice Wrestling, excuse me. I got that mixed up. Another possible superstar to win the this number one contender's shot for the NXT Women's Championship. powerful athlete Sonya Deville is as she makes her mark here tonight in this eight women battle royal looking to win also an NXT women's championship bout will she be able to do it we're gonna find out this is an over-the-top row battle royal where if you get eliminated by getting both feet touching the floor, you're out. You're eliminated. Only one superstar is gonna gonna remain in the ring and will be declared the winner. Because we all know how that works.
And here comes the former NXT Women's Champion, Sochi Lopez. I would probably say that she's been the longest reigning NXT Women's Champion. But she's looking to go after that title once again. And then again, she also has a match against Thunder Rosa at NXT TakeOver Incarceration in the Mexican Death Match. Now this is the second NXT Takeo TakeOver Incarceration event that a Mexican Death Match has been held. First it, first it was against Lazara and now it's against uh, Thunder Rosa. And now here comes Morgana Rivera. And from Barcelona, Spain, Morgana Rivera. Morgana Rivera, a very talented athlete, could easily win this matchup, no problem at all, with her talented high flying abilities. We could see Lazaro taking on Morgana Rivera for the NXT Women's Championship if she can be able to win this battle royal. As we got two more participants left who have not yet made their entrance. This should be fun to watch. I'm actually curious to see who wins this match after all. Mandy Rose on her way to the ring. She's also the part of this battle royal. Imagine if she wins this match and faces Lazar for the NXT Women's Championship. That would be a match to see in my opinion. Two talented athletes battling it out for the title. In a steel cage match, nonetheless, because every match is in a steel cage. Hence the hence the reason why it's called NXT Takeover Incarceration. Here comes the final participant of this battle royal. It is Dakota Kai. You can just tell that none of these superstars are nervous about getting eliminated by being thrown over the top rope. But they are confident that whoever wins this match is going to be number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. There we go, Candice Ray going for the suplex, but we're gonna reverse the reversal. Oh, and Sochi Lopez just taking out Rana Rivera, and Candice Ray is out. Candice LeRae is gone. We got a drop kick. There we go, going for the elimination.
So Kenesaur is out. There's still seven superstars left in this room. Now Sonya Deville going to throw into the corner. Going for the elimination, but Sonya Deville escapes that. Now trying to, trying to escape, trying to escape. Trying to escape. And Candice Ray, no, not Candice Ray. Excuse me, Bianca Belair, almost eliminated Organa Rivera, but Mandy not Eddie White. Oh been shit, Mandy Rose got eliminated. Eddie White's got her. A competitor has been eliminated. So Sochi, oh, and Sochi Lopez just got eliminated as well. A competitor has been and Morgana Rivera is out. <laughs> Candice Array, Sochi Lopez, Morgana Rivera. Andy Rose just got eliminated. Now it just leaves Annie Kawhi, Bianca Belair, Dakota Kai, and Sonya Deville all to fight. Let's see who is left standing and becomes number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Now Bianca Belair going for the power slam. Dakota Kai going after Sonya Deville now. Into the corner. Sonya trying to eliminate Dakota Kai. She's trying to, but... Now, Annie Kawhi trying not to get eliminated. Oh, and she survived still. Bianca Belair trying to eliminate Annie Kawhi, but she, she's trying her best. But now, Annie Kawhi is trying her best not to get eliminated as well. Sonya Deville tr still trying to eliminate Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai is still surviving. Sonya Deville going after Bianca Belair. Bianca going for the back suplex. Now Dakota Kai going after Annie Kawhi. Reversal after reversal. Bianca going after Sonya. I thought she was going to eliminate her right there. A competitor has been and Dakota Kai has been eliminated. There we go. Brain Buster onto Bianca Belair. Bianca Bel oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say Bianca Belair with the reversal, but no. I was I was too quick. And now Sonya go trying to eliminate any Kawhi but still holding on still hanging on any Kawhi still hanging on now this is considered now a triple threat match
Oh no, Sonya Deville just eliminated. And Kawhi, now it just leaves Bianca Belair and Sonya Deville. Oh no. And Sonya Deville wins it. She's gonna be facing Lazara for the NXT Women's Championship. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure that Lazara is not too happy about that outcome. Sonya Deville last eliminating um, any no, not any I mean Bianca Belair. Excuse me, I keep messing up. I gotta stop that. Well, there you go. There's your number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Man. What a disappointing outcome that was. Well, no, I wouldn't say disappointing, but unexpected. And here we go, the main event. It is Johnny Gargano taking on Maxwell Verde here to here tonight. One on one. Now we heard from the NXT and North American champion Maxwell Verde earlier 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 in the show that he had a very special stipulation and Black Heron came out and and challenged Maxwell Verde to a NXT to the NXT championship match. Maxwell Verde accepted and told Black Heron that the stipulation that he had in mind was a loser leaves the company match. Which means if Black Heron wants those belts at the at the event at the at the takeover event then Maxwell Verde gets fired, but if Maxwell Verde wins, he retains those titles, and Black Heron is the one who gets fired. But right now, he's going to be facing Johnny Wrestling one on one. Maybe that'll clear his. Maybe that'll clear Maxwell Verde's mind off of this this match, upcoming match. Making his way to the ring. Johnny Gargano. Oh no. Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds. And Maxwell Verde just wasting no time attacking Johnny Gargano. Just attacking him. Johnny Gargano was on his way to the ring, but Maxwell Verde decided. That would be a good idea to attack his opponent before the match even started. And here we go. Johnny Gargano. Oh, shit. No. Oh, 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 oh. Reversal. Maxwell Verde was trying to go for a power bomb. To power bomb. By Johnny Gargano with that reversal. Now he's attacking the champion. He's just attacking that champion. Trying to go for a powerbomb position again, but Maxwell Verde is just not too quick on his feet. Johnny. Oh, shit. And now here we go. And there we go, power bomb into the corner, I would say. Here we go, I, off the ropes. GDT reversal by Gargano. Oh, here we go, roll up, roll up, roll up, and the rope break. Now 
Max from really good to throw into the corner by Johnny Gargano. Now, the match is basically going to be very simple. As I've just explained it before, if Maxwell Verde wins and beats Black Heron, then he keeps those titles and Black Heron gets fired. But if Black Heron wins those titles, Maxwell Verde gets fired. And it will be in a steel cage match. Here we go, off the ropes. Spine Buster. Here we go. War Buster ETS. And here's the cover. And a kick out. And now on to the top rope. And a moonsault, but Johnny Gargano using the knees as protection. Wow. Here we go again. And Johnny Gargano got him in the submission. Will he make him tap? Will he tap? Probably not. You know how you know how Maxwell Woody is. Just attacking him in the corner. And Max Wilberti's got him in that pow in that power bomb position. But now Johnny Gargano fighting out of it. Johnny Gargano to the top rope. Oh, but they're they're both exhausted now. John Gargano in full control. Got his comeback ready. He's got Maxwell ready in the corner. Oh, and head first into the turnbuckle pads. It's cover. And a kick out. Oh, Johnny Gargano's got him rep, got him up, got him for the super kick. And here's the roll up rope break. Oh, and down goes Maxwell Verde. Maxwell Verde. Oh, shit. Oh, using his, oh, going for the full Nelson. Using Johnny Gargano's match get move against him. Now, Verdi's ready for him. He sent him up. And yeah, code breaker. to Maxwell Verde taking out the NXT and North American champion. What's he going for now? Oh! Submission, but the rope break comes into play. Blind forearm onto, John, onto the NXT champion. Go off the ropes. Drop down. Keep 
Frog. And the cutter. The cutter by Johnny Gargano. Here's the cover. And the kick out. Ace to the back to, from Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano trying to make him tap, trying to end this match once and for all. Maxwell ready going to the top. Johnny Gargano is dazed. Oh, well that didn't go well. Oh shit. Johnny Gargano gonna throw him into the other corner. And taking out the ref. Taking out the ref in the process. The ref is out. And now Johnny Gargano's gonna injure that left arm of Maxwell Verdi. So he's trying to she's trying to make Maxwell Verdi unable to be a hundred percent for the for his NXT in North American Championship match against Black Heron at NXT Takeover Incarceration. Where both titles are on the line and it is a loser leaves the company match. I think he wants Black Heron to win those titles. So that's why he's applying so much damage here tonight. That's just me. Oh, and that's it. Maxwell Wordy must have been so exhausted that he couldn't even bother to kick out. I don't think he's even at a hundred percent right now. Making making uh him an easy advantage for Black Heron to put away and win those titles and probably have him get fired as well. Here is your winner, Johnny Gargano. But Johnny Gargano just putting away the NXT and North American champion, no problem at all. That's got to be something. But now, friends, this episode of NXT has come to an end, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, take care. We'll see you on the next one.